I decided to get a capo and I've been using this particular model since Christmas and it's the Daddario NS Lite for classical guitar and it's a flat one uh, for, for typical sort of classical guitar two inch necks. So I thought I'd talk about it and let you know how I've been getting on with it. This is Everything Guitar. So when you put the capo on, you can tighten it by this little wheel here. And it just changes the angle from being opened up and it just closes very slightly. And there's a little bit of flex there. So the more you tighten it, the less flex you get. So you get to almost no flex. So that's what it's doing. There's a kind of some sort of spring mechanism in there. Now, as a capo, uh, you know, some capos take a little while to get used to and to get to put them on and then you have all sorts of variations so what you're looking for in a capo is to be able to clamp the string and obviously once you've got the capo in position I kind of like to hold the strings and just you know just for safety hold the capo down so the strings can't be pulled upwards still in tune. Now bear in mind that most capos they will pull the guitar out of tune so I'm quite happy with the fact that I mean that's playable. So yeah, nice. That was the Daddario NS Capo, the classical guitar. Capos, not a lot to say about capos really, but thought it was worth letting you guys know, and I paid for this with my own money, so I think it was, uh, it was a good investment and didn't cost too much, so great. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all soon. So if this video has helped you, then why not subscribe? And you know the saying, those that can, do. And I should leave out the other bit that says those that can't talk about it. And why not check out some of our other videos? And there are two here to check out for you now. And remember, don't just watch, play and make the commitment to becoming a better guitarist by subscribing to the channel. All the best.
Hasta luego.